As he fights lung cancer, Todd Piper has a lot of doctor appointments, but this visit is unique. He may be getting a cancer vaccine. Bottom line is I have nothing to lose and, and everything to gain, either for me or for other people down the road. Piper is participating in a trial to test a vaccine that could shrink lung cancer tumors. I know they've come so far with just the treatments and the infusions. Yeah, I'm glad to be a part of it. Volunteers like Piper are helping with the new wave of cancer vaccine research. I, I think this is going to be the decade of vaccines. At UW Medicine's Cancer Vaccine Institute, researchers are testing vaccines to help treat early and advanced breast cancer, lung cancer, and ovarian cancer. I am pretty confident that in the next five to eight years, we will have approval of more than one cancer vaccine to be used in that area of uh, preventing disease recurrence. More than ever, scientists understand how cancer hides from the body's immune system. Experimental vaccines are designed to train the immune system to recognize and attack cancer cells. Combined with standard treatments like chemotherapy, radiation, or immunotherapy, the goal is for the vaccine to finish the job. Patients do very well. You can get a short course of vaccines and they last a lifetime. The next step will be developing vaccines that prevent cancer. Trials are already underway. Cancer vaccine research can't be done without volunteers like Piper or Jamie Craze. Craze was one of the first to receive the ovarian cancer vaccine. She had been diagnosed at age 34 and thought she would die young. Before a major surgery, she and her husband wrote their wills. We were designating all the things that were important to us, where they would go, which is something like super weird to think about it. It was like, I really want my necklace to go to my best friend. She's been my best friend since fourth grade. Um, it's just, she's my person. Now 50, she still wears the necklace and has had no signs of cancer for years. She joined the cancer vaccine study even after doctors found no evidence of the disease in hopes of helping future cancer patients. If this could become something that they could give women before they get cancer, why wouldn't I? Or even give it right after women are diagnosed if it could boost their immunity to like help fight the cancer, why wouldn't I be a part of that? Um, I'm still here, I can still, I can still help in some way. That's kind of maybe what I, I can't have kids, so maybe I can, that's what I leave instead. Back at the Seattle hospital, Piper receives two shots. He is either getting the trial vaccine or an infection fighting protein used for comparison. Piper is grateful to be here. He was initially given just weeks to live after doctors discovered cancer had spread to his brain. My daughter will graduate nursing school as a BSN a year from now. So that would be great. I'd love to, love to make that, you know. Go down with the injection. Claire Rush, Associated Press.